hello hello my friends welcome welcome to my space you guys welcome to my space uh i'm still stuck on transfer looms because i like them and so i think that's what we're gonna do i have paint everywhere i'll warn you now i started without you and i, I did an amazing piece and a great video and then my camera timed itself out all right Walmart black onyx right out of the can so that's going to be our bloom puddle and I'm kind of playing with just some different colors this is deco art white sand enamel mixed with the deco art pre-mixed pouring paint um, I don't like it as a pouring paint but I couldn't get titanium white okay this is boom gel uh, mixed with my pouring medium so we're just going to use it as a color that's the silver this is van dyke brown a uh, little bit thick maybe let's just thin that a tiny bit so i have to i, I have to tell you i have to tell you a couple of stories first of all to the viewer that told me i talk a lot and say nothing um i don't really know how to respond to that i just really don't so i guess you have a mute button and you can always mute me if you find my chitter chatter annoying i apologize possibly in january i will try to keep my chitter chatter about painting uh but maybe i won't you just never know i do put down all my descriptions you guys who follow me and know i chitter chatter about everything i do put all my descriptions anytime i change my pouring medium or anything it all goes down in my description box so I don't have any secrets you guys can ask me whatever you want to ask me and I am virtually an open book all right so we're gonna use a little bit of this pretty orange so now here's how, where my stories get interesting for me I'm not a lucky person you know there's some people that travel through life white cell mix you guys there's people that travel through life and they fall in, you know what, and they come out smelling like roses. I'm one of those people that, that's not what I want, black cell I'm one of those people that if I fall in, you know what, I come out smelling like, you know what, doesn't get any better than that. Okay, the big blowout. Okay, we're gonna put that aside it doesn't matter what it looks like because we're gonna scoop it and we're gonna move it around and then we're gonna flood this one so yesterday I went to shoppers drug mart to buy a little birthday gift for a co-worker and the gentleman in front of me was at the lottery machine and I thought oh I have a lottery ticket it's been in my purse for like a year haven't checked it haven't looked at it and so I said to the lady behind the till, oh, I have this ticket and it's almost a year old. And she said, well, it could be expired. And well, we'll see. So she rang it through and I won $30. So that was pretty exciting. That was like, Yahoo. I just got to find a swiping card, you guys. So they had some amazing sales because they're eliminating stock after Christmas. So everything I bought, I ended up getting for like half price to begin with. And then it was free. So might be 18 bucks and she gave me 12 dollars back so it was like bonus okay we're gonna take this pretty puddle and we're gonna just scoop it and we're gonna transfer it so we're just gonna let it roll down the card at its own will and we're gonna put it down so i do have satin enamel in this and i really really like what satin enamels do and so I'm kind of hoping that I get some of that cloudy satin enamel look. I don't know that I will, but we're going to try. Move you guys back down to about there. And then we're going to scoop it up again. And we're just going to go back in. And we're just going to keep layering this out like that, I think. I 
I think I'm going to actually scoop some more of this out. And I'm going to come back in here. I know that's really pretty and I'm going to try to avoid it, which I did. So my purchases were free. Free is always good. I like free. And then this morning I went to work and I went out to my car and it was really windy last night. And I just happened to look down and I saw $5. I was like, oh my God, hit the jackpot. And so I went to pick up the $5 and I found another two fives. So it was like 15 bucks in my pocket. Thank you so very much. I couldn't, not like I could stop and ask anybody at six o'clock in the morning if they lost money. So that just became my windfall. And then this afternoon, I stopped at my favorite secondhand store. We're going to spin this and then we're going to add to it. I think we're just going to use that as a base and we're going to put another swipe through it. Here we go. So this afternoon I stopped at my favorite little thrift store and I always go through the craft section just to see if they have any things that I could possibly use. And I found, do do do, I found these which were 49 cents each. I've got paint all over them already. Um, tinsel colorant. So it's basically the pigment that would be put into our big cans of paint when we pick our custom colors at the paint store. So I brought it home and of course it's probably old. Well, I knew it was probably old. And it had kind of separated in the bottles. So the first color I went to mix up didn't really work well because there was just a skim of oil on the top. So then I put them all into paper cups and I just mixed them all together. And then I put them in little receptacles and capped them. So to make this pretty red color that I have, not so much of because it's super overpowering, I just added my pouring medium and just literally a dab a really tiny tiny little dab off my popsicle stick and voila it was like just pounded in color so it's kind of cool I'm kind of happy with that let's get rid of this and let's get rid of this and then let's give it one more spin I think All right, let's, let's put it aside and let's pour another puddle because I already have a fair amount of paint here and we're going to do that again. I'm just going to scoop all this messy thing back into the pillow. Okay, so this one is black. Plain old black. And we're going to put some red in this. And a little bit of TLP honeycomb. And a little bit of golden ochre. So this is also the same pigments with pouring medium. Nothing, just super, super basic. And then I'm gonna put a little bit more of the Boom Gel in silver. And then this time we're gonna use white cell mix. And we're gonna transfer this. Okay, here we go. All right, same thing. We're just going to put this aside. We're going to bring all this back down again to there. And then we're going to scoop it up and we're going to go right over top of that. So I'm really, I'm really trying to get some of that super cool stretchy white lacing. And I was playing around with colors last night 
and it took me a long time to get into using white. I almost always use black. I used to use white all the time, and then I don't know what happened, but I stopped. And now I can't seem to get my white working like it used to. All right, the scoop up. And then we're gonna just come right in again. We're gonna overlap all this. We're gonna hope like, you know what, that big wall of white goes away. If not, we're gonna put something over top of it. And then we're gonna really, really stretch this way more than normal. Okay, well, I like it already, which is a good sign. I'd like to get maybe a tiny bit more of that yellow going on in there. So let's, uh, let's spin it first. Let's move some of these obstacles first. All right, let's give it a go. So I think, if you guys can still see, I have a little bit of that really pretty yellow there, and I'm just going to scoop it up off the side. Where am I going to come in, though? Now I'm going to leave it. If we need more yellow, we'll put more yellow in. Here we go. One more. This is nice. This is okay. Just okay. But just okay doesn't really work for me as it is. So let's build another puddle. Let's collect some of this because we don't want to waste it. So all of my Save It For Later paints get put into just a cup and or a bottle or whatever. And then eventually I strain them through a pair of pantyhose and I thin them or I thicken them or I do whatever I have to do. And I start all over again. Okay, so we're going to go... Um, Boomdale Silver, Deco Art White Sand Enamel mixed with white, I'm going to do TLP Honeycomb, ooh, way, way, way too much, Golden Ochre on top of that. And then we're going to do the white cell mix again. If I can find it. There it is. And we're going to try to get some more of that sort of really cool yellow thing going on. I like the way the ochre bleeds into the yellow. So my lacing has now become yellow, which is really pretty. All right, you guys, here we go. All right, and then we have a yellow petal. So I'm just kind of looking for a bit of balance in there somewhere. Um, all right, let's 
let's just scoop up in here. I get to turn you around. You can turn me around. I turn somebody around, you guys. All right. So I don't have as many cells, but that's okay. I have better balance. Okay, let's spin this again. Yep, pretty, pretty colors, you guys. Pretty, pretty colors. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit of shift in here, and then we'll take a look. All right, that is as far as I am going to go. Yeah, I like this scoop and move stuff, and I like kind of layers on top of layers. So ideally, I would be layering warm over cool or cool over warm because that leaves depth. So we've kind of done that here because the silver is a very cool color and up against these oranges and yellows. So it definitely gives it depth, not as much as I would like, but it's okay. All right, I'm going to bring you guys down for close-up. I'm going to put you on hold for a minute. All right, here we are from above. So I'm going to hit the focus lock. I'm, if it's not these pretty colors, I will, uh, I will turn it back on. Oh, yeah, nothing changed. All right, now we can go down and actually take a look. I almost fell off my stool. Uh love this like this little section here so you can see where the white cell mix and the yellow the ochre kind of bleed together it's really really hard that's a bit better for you guys to see these colors they're very warm and rich over top of silver which is kind of fun yeah all right, my friends, I'm going to love you and leave you right here. I'm going to thank everybody for pouring with me tonight. Uh, I may strip down and do something else, but we shall see. All right, guys, happy, happy new year. Don't drink too much, you guys. Don't drink too much. All right, my friends, bye for now.